Hey guys, welcome to Flix TV. I'm Megan Muldoon. I'm a local actress here in London. You may have seen me in productions like Theatre Western Spring Awakening, or you can see me this October in the Lost Soul Stroll downtown. We're here in Victoria Park asking people what their favorite movies were growing up. For me, I'd have to say Pretty Woman. Hey there, what's your name? Rachel. Rachel, what's your favorite childhood movie? Cinderella. Favorite movie? Uh, the Land Before Time. Pretty Woman. Dirty Dancing. It has to be Superman. Blade Runner. And what was your favorite movie growing up? Cinderella. Pretty Woman. Labyrinth? Labyrinth. <laughs> I'd have to say Fern Gully. Fox and the Hound. Oh, Fox and the Hound too. Yeah. <laughs> the Princess Bride. Oh. Uh, the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. And yourself, favorite movie growing up? Uh, Poondock Saints. All right, thanks. What was your favorite movie? Up. Definitely The Little Mermaid. Definitely The Labyrinth. I love David Bowie. I'm going to have to say The Princess Bride because my daughter just loved it and we watched it many, many times. Milo and Otis. Pretty Woman. Ghostbusters! The Dark Crystal. Because I freaking had a crush on Kira, the little girl that was in the movie. <laughs> Even though they were puppets. Uh, pretty Woman, obviously. Very nice. Thanks very much. Excuse me, hooker. Can you tell me how to get to Beverly Hills? Five dollars. You can't charge me for directions. Well, I ain't lost, lady, so I can do what I want. All right, all right, okay. You got change for a 20? For 20 bucks, I'll show you personally. All right, then. Okay, let's go. Okay, go. When I was a little boy, I used to pretend I was a prince trapped in a tower. And a beautiful princess in a purple Volvo station wagon would come and save me. Welcome to Hollywood. Everyone who comes to Hollywood's got a dream. What's your dream? There's one person that we know that it's worked out for is a fairy tale. Is it the <laughs> The story of an unlikely couple. Impressed? I've been here millions of times. Woo! Well, color me happy. There's room for two. Closer, man. Yeah. Who's this stud you brought? Oh, he's in sales. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? I think you mean hooker, and I'm totally on board. <laughs> yeah. Vinny. Hey. I'm having fun in there? I'm having a great time. I've got a business proposition for you. Oh, yeah? I'm going to be in town for the weekend, and I'd like you to stay with me. I think I could probably do that. Great. Pretty Freaky Pictures presents the story of a date that led to a deal that's becoming a dream come true. Stop fidgeting and spit out your gums. Oh, I can't believe you just did that. They're two people who have no business being together, just doing a little business. We're going to be spending an obscene amount of money in this store. So what you're going to need is a lot more help sucking up to us because that's what we really like. You understand? Oh, I understand, ma'am. And if I may say so myself, you not only come to the right store, but the right city. You were on commission, don't you? Big mistake. Huge. Everything was going their way. You know, everybody was trying to land her. Yeah, everyone might be trying to land her. I'm just using her for sex. What? Yes. Until. What is with you this week? It's under control. Well, sorry. Something unexpected happened. You fell in love with her, didn't you? Didn't I teach you anything? You taught me how to turn a hell of a trick. You hurt me. Yes. Don't ever do it again. <laughs> Maybe you're a boy. Yeah. I'll oh, walk. Wow. You're a very special man. Thank you. So what happens after the princess climbs the tower and saves him? I don't know, you got 20 bucks. Pretty. Whoa, man. How do I look? I think you look exquisite. Thanks. I have something for you. I thought maybe tonight. <laughs> I go bareback, though. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa, man. Hey guys, Shannon Lang here in front of the Met in beautiful downtown London. Coming up after the break, we're going to be featuring Robot on the Rampage Productions as well as showing one of their short films later on in the program. But before that, we want to tell you a bit about a contest that we're hosting on the show. We're going to help make one lucky viewer's cinematic vision come to life. Whether you want to be a director, write a script, or simply dictate the elements that a short film must contain, now's your chance. You can head on over to our website to find out more details. Mm -hmm. 